So hi, Jim. So when I first heard about your device, uh, which is a pen that runs CLDC Java, um, my first reaction was, what the? <laughs> Why would anybody want a computer in a pen? But then, you know, I went to your, you guys have a website where you go through some use cases, and it's actually completely brilliant. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. And, 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 and once again, th these guys, um, you know, because they're, they're, they're a show device, you can, you can buy them upstairs, and um, it comes with, a, you know, IDE plugins, and you can, you know, you can write code for them and, oh, and actually use them. Right. Yeah. Right. Thanks. Well, what, what we've created is, is a new type of a mobile computing platform, and it starts by allowing you to capture everything you hear, you write, or you speak, and, uh, and store that, and subsequently let you access it or share it forever. So um, what I'd like to do is, is through, walk through some applications, some demos. We had a contest this week um, with developers here. Um, I can show at least one app that was created in the last couple of days with new developer kit, and okay. then show how the platform holds together and then announce the winners. Okay. Okay. So it starts here. Let's see if we're up. So it starts with paper. So first of all, it is a, a basic pen. It weighs about uh, one and a third ounces. And uh, what I can do is, let's see, we've got some plugs to here. Um, so I have a paper notebook, and I start writing. And when I write on paper, I say Java 1. And now at the bottom of the page, there are some controls. Over here, the recording controls and then playback controls. So this has a, uh, I'll explain. I touch record at the bottom of the page. It shows now that it's recording. Ah, no, I don't need this yet. Okay. So I'm just recording. So uh, as, I'm, as I'm speaking, I'll write uh, 1. And this is the pulse. Smart pen from LiveScribe. It has a speaker, microphone, a display, an OLED display. It has USB connection, one or two gigs of memory, hold one or two hundred hours of audio as you record. Uh, but it is a platform, and the second part of the platform is our desktop software. So as I'm writing right now, it's capturing my ink, digitizing it, and storing the audio, and it will associate it with the ink. So when I go back to my paper and touch the ink on the paper, it will play back the audio exactly where I hear it. So I'll do that in a moment. So I've written the desktop three, the third part of our system is our web. So here's our platform. Now if I come to the bottom of the page and I touch uh, stop, I go back here. Now I'll plug in, um, I could play it here, but I'll plug in an external speaker so you can hear what I just did. So I touch one. Oops. They swapped this on me. Sorry. If I touch my ink, so wherever I touch this, there's two. Turn up the volume. And three. So, so I can. So, so, so it's been recording our voices right. from when you were writing it. So, so if you're like a college student and you're in a lecture and you like copy down the, 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 the professor's graph or, you know, That's whatever right. he, you know, you, you, you write some equation and then later on you're going, what was he talking about? That's right. You so, then just click on the page and you hear the professor's voice. It's all stored here. It records also uh, what we call far field recording. So we, we include uh, some earbuds that have microphones in. So we could pick up a pin drop at the back of a room. So it's very powerful. But when I come back to my controls on my page, I also can jump to where I'd like to. So as I'm right now, I can go to the middle of it. I can playback speed adjust. I can speed it up. <laughs> I could go normal speed. I can slow it down. And on the display at this point, if you look at it, you can show I recorded 46 seconds worth of audio. We're at 44 seconds right now. So I can control, control my audio. But that's just the starting point. It is a computer. It's a platform. It supports input in the form of writing and speaking. And it supports output in the form of a display and audio. But if I'd like to, I can also uh, create things that work on paper. So I have a little demo card here. We have a, a demonstrator of a translator. So if I touch English to Spanish. Spanish. It says Spanish. Now I can write a word, such as uh, one. Uno. So it recognizes it, translates it. <laughs> All right, coffee. Café. Please. And my writing's not great. Por favor. Now from there, I could change languages to Mandarin, for instance. Mandarin. And now touch the same word, just tap it. E cafe king. Or maybe to Arabic. Arabic. Wahid kahwa. Min fadlak. 
Okay. Good. Thank you.